Over the last four years, I've used more than 200 no-code tools to build my own business, and I've trained more than 500 entrepreneurs to launch theirs and raise millions of dollars. So in this video, I'm gonna save you a bunch of time and money by giving you the best ones to launch your next startup idea. And you might wanna stick around till the end because I have some hidden gems that allow you to launch 10 times quicker. Now, the first tool is also known as the Photoshop of website building. Built by designers for designers, providing you with an incredible flexibility to build pixel perfect websites we have webflow so as you see here when we jump in you can build really beautifully animated websites but the main thing about webflow is that they give you lots of flexibility in terms of design animation and that's oftentimes what designers are really looking for so this is kind of the builder to build ten thousand dollar websites for example and you can do all of that without writing any code so just dragging and dropping but the cool thing is you also get access to the code itself and for a lot of people, they love that. Now Webflow is definitely now focused on building out deeper logic so that people can build more complex web apps with this product. So we actually use Webflow to build out our website. As you can see, this is the editor. So it pretty much looks like Photoshop. Uh, it's a little bit more complex than you might want if you're looking for something simpler, but we'll get into that in just a second. You can also use it to build super complex websites. So for example, my buddy Sarko cloned the interface of the PlayStation, which you can see right here. It is a little bit more on the complex side and that just just means that it takes about three to six months to learn. So just keep that in mind if you're choosing Webflow as the main tool. Brings me to the next tool called Card with two R's and it is a simple website and landing page builder. And before you say you can't really build interesting things with this, well, Justin Welsh built a $1.8 million business and the backbone of his build is Card. So even though it has zero learning curve pretty much, it is a very powerful tool as well. So here you can choose a bunch of different templates that they have available. You can start from a template or you you can start from scratch. As you can see from this interface, it's really, really simple to understand. So here, for example, I can just start with a template, drag and drop. You can add elements very simply. It's just so intuitive. You don't really have to think too, too much. It also has animations. You'll also get good responsive design, which means that it'll look good on a mobile phone as well as a desktop. And so for complete beginners, this is a really good option for you because you can literally jump into it and build something within just 30 minutes with like. Now, the downside of this platform is that it's really only made for simple websites and landing pages. And it obviously has limitations when it comes to the design capabilities, but overall a really solid option. Now, if you're looking for something for a little bit more functionality and design flexibility than card, but a little bit less of a learning curve than Webflow, then this next tool might be exactly what you're looking for. It's a platform that over the past couple of years has really made a name for itself, especially when they launched one of the first AI builders. If you didn't guess it already, it's called Framer. And they were one of the first to build this prompt-based AI-generated website builder. The interface is that perfect balance between having a little bit more functionalities, uh, not being as simple. It probably takes about a month or a couple of weeks to learn Framer. So that's really one of the positive things that I like about it. Another AI feature I really like is that they have this plugin that allows you to do HTML paste. So you can go to your website, you can grab the HTML and you could just plug it right into Framer. So if you wanted to migrate your website to Framer, you could do that. A good example of a website built with Framer is Lottie Files. As you can see, really nice animations here. And that's why I really like Framer. I think it's that great in between. Now the uh, pros is that it is easier to learn than Webflow, but because you probably love the magic of AI, let's go ahead and test out that builder. Framer, build a website for my business called We Are No Code. We teach entrepreneurs how to launch their startups with no code tools. Boom, and as you can see here, it's pumped out a first version of this website. It's written copy, it's created different sections. And then this is pretty much your starting point. You can continue to build on top of this. So that's why this platform is incredibly powerful and we recommend it. And because some of you may be trying to build something that's more complex than a website, we're gonna be talking about the next section, which is web apps. First one on this list is probably the most powerful no-code builder out in the market today. It's called Bubble.io. So Bubble is an all-in-one builder, meaning that you have access to the front end, which is the design, the middleware, which are more like the workflows, and the back end, which are sort of the servers or the database all in one. Inside Bubble, you also have a bunch of different plugins, so you can choose from more than a thousand different plugins to give access to deeper functionalities. So you can bring in real-time geolocation. You could tap into stock market information and create a trading app. 
You can also create complex workflows, and that's the reason why so many founders have been able to build quite scalable businesses. David, the founder of Teal, for example, raised $11 million from investors with a platform built with Bubble. And you can even build AI platforms. Albert, for example, even built an AI startup called Synthflow that he recently raised $1.8 million. Again, completely built with Bubble. So the pros of building with Bubble is that it's a very powerful platform. You have lots of flexibility in what you build, but unfortunately the cons are that it comes with a deep learning curve, meaning that it takes about three to six months to become very proficient in Bubble, which has its benefits, but also its drawbacks. But if you're not trying to become a web developer, then this next platform might be perfect for you to be able to build your web app without writing a single line of code. It is way more intuitive and easier to learn, and it's often compared to the Lego of the no-code building. That's right, we're talking about a platform called Software. You can use this platform to build things like portals, sales CRMs, uh, employee directories. Now the software editor is so simple to use. As you can see here, you can simply add blocks. The adaptation of those blocks can be super easy. And this is one of those tools where you really get a great return on investment, meaning that you invest a couple hours and you can already build a first web app. And this project, in fact, that I'm showing you is a full directory of all the no-code tools that you can actually check out in the description below that we built fully in software. So here you can search for the tool you're looking for for your next project. There are different categories. So if we want to use a, an automation tool, it's gonna to categorize by automation tools. But one of the most exciting things that is just released is actually their AI generator. That's right, you can build full web apps leveraging AI. So there's a lot that you can do in software and for beginners, it is such a delight to work with a tool that gives you such a high return on investment. Now, up until now, you'll notice that we've mainly been talking about building on the web. So the next section is gonna be targeting mobile app builders. And the first one up is called Adalo. It's a platform that allows you to create from already created components an app from scratch. So this is what the editor actually looks like inside of Adalo. As you can see, there are pre-created components that you can choose from, and you can just pretty much add them onto these different screens and create these different pages. And every time that you create a new screen, for example, you can just add elements to that screen. So it's really drag and drop, point, click. You can add some logic behind it. You can also preview your app, of course. So as you're actually building, this allows you to save a lot of time. So all in all, quite intuitive of a platform, as you can see. And yeah, you can publish these apps inside the App Store or Android Store as well, which is what a lot of people are looking for. Now let me show some examples of, of both apps. Joy Blossom is a meditation app built in Adalo. So this is a good example of what you can build leveraging this tool. Smart Dish is an app also built with Adalo. So this is really to order food. Now the second mobile app builder on this list is called Glide and it's quite similar to Adalo. It has an even more intuitive interface to build with. So Glide's interface is also super nice as you can see here. Uh, if you jump in, you have the navigation. So these are pretty much the different screens that you can see. You can see the layout of that. So as you can see, all this data is now represented here. We click through this, we're gonna be able to go to the page that gives us the details. From the design perspective, as you can see here, there's some nice styling that you could use. So if you wanted to make it more of a grid form, all this data, you could just click on that. And again, so this, it's really easy for you to navigate this platform and to understand the additional options that you have as well. You can actually build pretty awesome things leveraging this platform. It has a learning curve that's quite similar to that of Adalo, so like one month pretty much. Now, the one thing I'd mention about Glide is that they don't support support publishing in the iOS and Android store anymore. They used to, but they now took that functionality away. And very similarly to Adalo, because they're quite easy to learn and quick to build, they also come with the fact that, hey, you can't build as deep of functionality as you might want. And people often ask me, should I use Adalo or should I use Glide? There's only a couple of subtle differences. And frankly, both are great platforms. So if you're trying to make a decision between both of those, why don't you just spend about 20 minutes in each editor? Now there's another platform that's had a meteoric rise to fame in the no-code space, specifically for mobile app builders, and it's called Flutterflow. This is probably the most powerful no-code mobile app builder in the market at the moment. So this is the interface in Flutterflow. As you can see, it's a little bit more complex as you might imagine. The upside of building inside Flutterflow is that you have way more functionality. So you can build complex API calls. Uh, the downside is that it probably takes about three months to learn to become very 
good at Flutterflow. They also have this cool feature here, which allows you to build a full page with AI. So you only just have to prompt it. And it's being used by enterprises, by entrepreneurs, small, medium businesses alike. And as you can imagine, it's a platform with deep logic and a little bit more of a learning curve, but also has some very exciting AI features that are being built right inside of it, meaning that you can customize everything and anything. And yes, I'm about to unveil the tools that allow you to build 10 times quicker. But before that, I wanna talk about some tools in the category of automation. The first tool in this category is largely known as the leader in this space. It's called Zapier. And they market themselves as the glue of the internet, essentially connecting information from one app to another, integrating apps with each other, and allowing them to communicate back and forth just like you would do with an API call. It can be used for things like marketing automation, sales automation uh, for business owners, you know, IT departments in general, and it is very simple to use. That's why it's gained a lot of popularity. Now there are thousands of use cases, but let's explore a couple that they're showing here on the website. Now, as you can see, the first thing that it's showing me is the AI builder. So basically I could just prompt it. If this happens, then do that. Uh, so I'm gonna jump in here and grab a trigger. So basically when this specific trigger event happens, it's going to create an action on the other hand, just remember that. Okay, so one of the examples that I wanna use here is the way that we onboard people when they join our program. So we have a Slack community where we provide one-on-one -on -one support via video. And so here we have a trigger that when someone is added to Slack and they join as a new user, it's going to create a private channel for them. Then it's going to send them a message from one of us, welcoming them and, and outlining the setup steps that we want them to take once they're inside the channel. Now, what I love about Zapier is that it's simple to use, it's easy to understand, and it really helps you go through it, as well as the AI that they just released. Now, Zapier is incredibly easy to use, but I'd say if there's one drawback is that it's a little bit expensive. And this next tool might actually be a better option for you. It's called Make, which is also called Integromat, is also an incredible platform to be able to create automations. It requires a little bit more learning than Zapier, but is a lot cheaper. It allows you to use pre-existing templates. As you can see here, we're creating a workflow. And the example that you can see is that if someone fills out a specific form, it's going to do a number of things. It's going to notify the team. In parallel, it's gonna create a record in your database. It's a lot cheaper as a product, and that's why I really like it. When you jump in, you can choose to start from a template or you can build a scenario from scratch. So let's go ahead and start one. Let's add a trigger event. Now the trigger event could basically be with all of these different integrations, right? So these are all different apps that you could connect to. So Make is basically quite similar to Zapier. It's a bit cheaper. There are slightly fewer integrations, but frankly, I really like it. So if you're a total beginner, Zapier might make sense. If you have a little bit more confidence and are willing to test something different, then I would go for Make. Now, for those of you who are totally new to automation, it pretty much works like this. If something happens, then I want something else to happen. And that's exactly the name of this next platform. If this, then that. I F T T T. This is another option for you if you're trying to create automations. It's also quite simple. It has fewer integrations than you might see on Zapier. It's also a little bit cheaper. And ultimately these three platforms work in a very similar way. But trust me, when you start setting up automations, it's gonna make your life so much easier. And now we've finally reached the bonus tools, these four gems that are gonna allow you to save a lot of time when you're building. First up is Reloom. Reloom is really cool. It's basically a library of different elements. You have uh, basically structural elements for things like Webflow. You have an AI site builder that you can then export to Webflow, extensions, Figma kits, everything. So I really love this tool. If you click into the AI builder, for example, example, let's go to that one. The first thing it does is that it's going to create a full sitemap. Then it's gonna suggest an about section. It's gonna suggest courses page. Now, the second thing it'll do is that it can generate a wireframe based on that. So as you can see here, the first page, it basically built out the entire structure of the website, empower your startup journey with no code. Pretty similar to what our website actually says. So it's really well thought out and all of this with just one prompt. So super powerful website. I would definitely recommend for you guys to come and check it out. And next up is a 
similar product built for Bubble, and it's called Atomic Fusion. It's a collection of different templates, of different components. So you can jump in here and we can go ahead and explore some of the different things they have for Bubble. There's a marketplace where you can actually buy and sell things, but there's so many free elements here that can be super valuable if you're at the beginning of your uh, building. And they're organized quite nicely, like block components, for example, if you're just looking for a specific uh, component. Also full pages, there are UI kits, there are elements that you can use. If you're building in Bubble, why waste your time? Start from complete scratch. And we know that the designing inside a Bubble can sometimes be a little frustrating. So speeding up the process and using other people's work can be super valuable. Now, another platform I wanna introduce you to save time is Flowbase. They have templates and components, not only for Webflow, but also for Framer and for Figma. This can speed things up dramatically for you, so definitely check out Flowbase. You could check out their components, they have different wireframes as well, illustrations, boosters. And yeah, building has become such a treat now because you can basically just use other people's beautiful work for free and uh, build beautiful websites, web apps, and this is a great resource for those three tools. Check out as many of these as you can and it's gonna speed up your process tenfold. Now, knowing all of these tools I've just presented is amazing in and of itself, but even more amazing is getting the help and support that you need as you're going along your building process so that you can make money and optimize your systems with these no-code tools. And that's exactly why we created a free course that you'll find below called how to launch your startup as a non-technical entrepreneur. And in this course, we're gonna break down the steps for you. So again, all the tools and the free course can be found below in the description. And if you don't think it's possible to generate millions of dollars with no code, then check out these three startups because they've done exactly that. And now my friends, it's your turn to take action. Let's go.